Hey everyone, I'm planning on making a series of short videos just explaining what Stellaris is, and hopefully help you through some of the more intricate parts of the game. So before we get into the game, let's just take a look at what it is on the outside. So, what is Stellaris? Stellaris is what's known as a 4X Grand Strategy video game. What does that mean? Well, 4X stands for Explore, Expand, Exploit, and Exterminate. The closest relatable game that has been popular in the past uh, has probably been the Civilization series of games. So just think of Stellaris as kind of a futuristic space real-time version of Civilization. Stellaris' gameplay revolves around space exploration, managing an empire and diplomacy, and warfare with other spacefaring civilizations. There is no story mode in the game, but you can make your own race where you can write your own backstory, or you can use a pre-made species which already has its own backstory. But essentially the year is 2200, and you take control of a species in the early stages of space exploration, right after the invention of faster than light spaceship technology. You control ships, including science, construction, and military vessels, and it's up to you to decide how to achieve any one of the game's victory conditions. So, first and foremost, we're actually going to go through the character creation or the race creation. Uh, but to fully comprehend the aspects that we're going to see in it, uh, one thing we need to bear in mind are victory conditions. Now, these are essentially the way that you're deciding to win the game. So your race creation is going to decide how you're going to play the game with the ultimate goal of achieving one of these three types of victory. Now you have three different types of victory. Now one is to win the game by owning 40% of the planets in the galaxy. Now this is obviously dependent on the size of the galaxy you're picking. Uh, this one here is a huge one, so there is a lot of planets, so there's a lot of colonization to do. Now, obviously, with this playstyle, you can take a different, uh, several different types of options, which I'll go through shortly. Um, conquest victory, win the game by conquering or subjugating all other empires. We are, we know of eight other independent empires in the galaxy, so we are up here. We are the wonderful Blorg, which is, again, another race we'll go through in a minute. Um, and we can see that there are a group of other empires in the galaxy now with obviously with this type of playstyle, you're going to be a very aggressive type of um play style basically um you're going to be wanting to essentially conquer them um or you're going to want to subjugate them now subjugating them is basically a way of controlling their empire now you can see here they have um, different opinions, and you have relative power. So you can see that the relative power is equal to fleet power, naval capacity, and technology level. We'll go into that later, but that is the way that you're going to overpower them, is either by having bigger fleets, uh, a bigger naval capacity, or having superior technology. Again, that is going to lead to a different type of playstyle than just the standard um, domination victory. Federation victory is another type of victory. The win the game by having your federation own 60% of the habitable planets. Now with a federation victory, your mindset for that is not necessarily to be um, conquering the galaxy or not necessarily to be expanding out into every single planet. Although ideally you want to try and do that if you can. But with a federation victory, your idea is that you're going to ally with as many other people on the map as possible. Again, which will depict your type of playstyle. 